So Nipsey Hussle's killer has received grave warning about prison. His life is going to be hell. Oh, my goodness. So yeah, You don't look too happy in that picture. Yeah, Nipsey's killer has been warned that his life in prison will be hell as he prepares to serve his life sentence. In a recent viral video, in a viral video of a recent court appearance in Los Angeles, Eric Holder Jr. was told he's in he's in for a rough ride behind bars, with all the gangs looking to extract or exact revenge on him for gunning down the beloved rapper. Despite reports claiming the warning came from the judge presiding over the case, Hollywood on Law confirmed it actually came from Holder's own lawyer. Okay, so I thought it was a judge. A lot of people did. Turns out it's his own lawyer. Presumably in an attempt to get him placed in protective custody. Let's watch the video. And I know on Twitter it's going to reload and do its stupid thing. That's why I hate watching videos on Twitter. Um, Twitter is like the worst place. I just saw that. Boosie badass hopes Nipsey Hussle's killer gets stabbed to death in prison by Crips. Yeah, everybody hopes that. Boosie always. <laughs> Once he gets to state prison, he's a target. There's a green light on him from all the gangs. All the people that love Nipsey Hussle. And so his life in prison is going to be hell. Oh, yeah, the video on him is <laughs> the video is like mean, zoomed in. What did you expect? Like, he's going to be, like, uh, a king in there? Like I mean, what would be better, him getting killed and be free or him serving the full life sentence and dealing with his consequences? Because when you're dead, you're free, technically. You're out. You're done. You're done with his lifetime. And Dude, whatever sucks, happens, man. yeah, I don't know what happens yeah, after nothing that. Nothing sounds good. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> I think it's terrible. I, I don't think, have no answer. Honestly, I think it would be more terrible for me to serve a life, my whole life in there, knowing that I'm I'm screwed for the rest of whatever, however long I live, than getting killed. Because getting killed, you're out of the situation. You're done. <sighs> at the end of the day, he deserves it, bro. Should have never killed a man. <laughs> he said that. Straight up. Day, he Obviously, I mean, he did. Yeah. I, I, for me personally, I think I'd much rather die than than. Uh, than uh, serve a whole life sentence. I think that would be easier way out. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, why why not? What what do you have in prison? What's what, you're in a box for the rest of your life? What I have what do you books, food? What does that do? Gang friends? <laughs> Nothing. That doesn't do anything for your life. Sometimes for an hour, go outside. Nah, that's not. You're gonna get depressed unless like you just nah. find God and you find religion and you you repent every day and you know. That's just a path that okay. eventually, hopefully, that, that leads you to a, a better path. But, you know, like, there's nothing you can do at that point. Yeah, it sucks, man. Shit, even serving, I don't know, even serving a month, man. Any any prison time sucks. Like, I think, uh, what was, I was watching the, the case of uh, somebody's getting their sentence reduced. Uh, some, go, some killer guy got, like, a 25-year sentence. Yeah. And they reduced it by two years. And uh, the guy's like, oh, that's, you know. That's not a big deal. I'm like, bro, an extra two years? I don't give a fuck. That's a huge deal. Years I'm going long. from 25 years to 23. like 24 months. Yeah, and the guy was like, oh, that's not a big deal. I'm like, hell yeah. For me, that would have been a day earlier would have been better. 700 whatever days. That's a lot. Yeah, so that guy, yeah. So downplaying, down, it's easy to downplay it because it's in years and it's in numbers, like 25. Oh, that's not a big number. Nah, 25 years is a long time of your life. So yeah. personally... You know, I think I think Eric Holder um, might want to get killed. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't think I don't think he wants to be in there for life. Might kill himself. That's a possibility as well. I mean, there was an ex ex police cop. We didn't talk about this the last podcast. Mm. But there's an ex police cop that uh that says Nipsey Hussle was potentially killed by the LAPD. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that it was a setup. There's a, there's that conspiracy going around that it was a setup. Uh, he was supposed to meet with the LAPD one day after. So, like, that Sunday that he died, he was supposed to meet with them Monday, the following day. Right. Um, they're saying he, he, they potentially killed him because he was doing too good for the community. Um, and they knew Nipsey. They knew his schedule, where he was at every day, where he went. They always kept track, you know, uh, because he's a gang member, quote-unquote. And then they um, hired this guy to get him killed? Yeah, they're saying that Eric Holder was the one that, you know, and they're like, probably the exchange would have been, hey, yeah, you're going to get life in prison potentially, but we'll make sure you're safe in there and you're, you're whole, you're good. Literally, it doesn't sound like it. 
Or they could just be lying. They'd be like, hey, we use you. We're just, you know, if you die, who gives a shit? We don't care about you either. Yeah. So, you know, police are police. You know, they're not always straightforward. They're not the, the, the you know, police. Here's the thing. Police officers are human. They're going to lie. They're going to do. People yeah. think that police officers are. Well, we're the law. We have to be, you know. You know, and they're the most holy people and they're the greatest yeah. people ever. We obviously know they're not. Cap. So, um, I don't know about that theory. I've heard that theory thousands. I've heard all kinds of theories, but. Um, you know, I like I said, Nipsey should have been that day, every day that he goes there, he should have moved a little smarter. You can't just be up out there, even though it's your neighborhood. You get to a certain level, it's not. You just can't do it, you know. So uh, you can't yeah. rewind time, man. It is what it is. You know, life I happens. Um, but Eric Holder is going to, you know, he's got his whole life to reflect on it in there. So I'm sure, I, I, I do think in the future we're going to hear he's going to get killed. I think it's bound to happen. We called it. Uh, because there, there, there's a thing. Nipsey has, you know how many people he impacted that there, there's bound to be people that are locked up in there that Nipsey yeah, helped. Huh? Nipsey helped their family members or something. Oh. So they're like, yo, I'm here. I'm here probably yeah. these people are probably serving life themselves. Like what's, what's another I, life if, sentence? If, probably if I was in, in prison and uh, I'm involved, like I'm in a, I'm in a gang and this is my favorite rapper and you just killed him. I'll probably kill you when I see you. Now. Well, depends on your sentence. Depends on your sentence. If I got life, if you got ten years, why would you? you yeah, know, screw that over. You know, yeah, if you got, I'm sure the people that got life, they don't give a fuck. Because what are you gonna do? You just give another person life again. It's like okay, yeah, I can't serve two life sentences. I only got. Well, that's one. what I'm saying. I would get somebody else involved that's already got life. Do this for me. Yeah, I'll get, so, you, I'll get you two thousand. I mean, they got he got beat up and pretty much stabbed before he was even doing a trial. So he got a big ass bump. Oh, that I'm time. sure. So, yeah. Yeah. They're going to, they're, it's green light on him. Like the, like the, uh, lawyer said. So, yep. uh, good. He deserves it. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Don't kill nobody. Rest and piss. Rest and shit. And piss. Both just as bad. <laughs> okay. That's disgusting. <laughs>